Hey, how's it going? I'm Charlie. Hi. Thanks for tuning into Multicasting, Miss Jean. Yeah. Uh, we're going to do a short series, if that's okay with you, on the festival season that Scotch Malt Whiskey Society of America is doing. Uh, they're celebrating all five regions of Scotland and Scottish producing whiskey uh, territories. This is a 14 year old uh, for, uh, Distillery 48 rare release. Distillery 48, spoiler alert, is Belmonic. Uh, this is uh, 14 years old. It's named is Foraging in the Flavor Forest. Flavor. This is a 700 milliliter bottle, bottled at 49.8% ABV. This was aged in Reedfield Hogshead and First Fill American Pedro Jimenez Hogsheads. Good lord, how do you remember all that? Oh, I got members. Dang I got yeah. member. Uh, but Jean, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're going to have ourselves some sherry influenced scotch today. Who are we? Uh, did we? I think we scored this on the uncorking. I'm curious to see if that matches. Stay tuned to the end of that. Appreciate your subscription to the channel and doing all those things you're supposed to do to help a YouTube channel grow. Thumbs up if you like us. Thumbs down if you don't. What you getting on the nose there, Miss Jean Marie? I initially got cherries, ruby red, grapefruit, some tangerine, Man. It's not hard to get nose full of nostrils. <laughs> nose full of nostrils. Yeah. Yeah, everybody should have one of those. Yeah. Uh, for me, it's like they made uh, an ice cream out of scotch. I'm getting cherries and red fruits with a ton of vanilla bean. I got ginger. Man. Vanilla bean, got some vanilla bean. The sherry is definitely there on the nose. There's so much red going on in here. And you kind of expect, and look at the legs on this thing. My goodness, look at those legs. Allergy season for me. My nose is bothering me. This scotch is like a ZZ Top song personified. Huh. She got legs. She's multiplying. Different song. <laughs> Different song. <laughs> Man, but yeah, PX, you're going to have those uh, uh, bigger burst of fruits than you are with like Oloroso. Oloroso tends to be a little bit nuttier, a little drier. This smells juicy. I'm going in, and I think I gave us kind of a quasi-heavy pour, but that's okay. It's festival season. We deserve to be happy. I'm going in. I get maybe even a little bit of, of chocolate in here, like a milk chocolate. So milk chocolate, strawberries. Let's go! Red berries. Man, um, punch is in the flavor for 49. It's aged 14 years, and it came out as cast strength at a 49.8. Um, packed with flavor. All the sherry notes are there. It's well balanced, it's oily, it's viscous, coats the mouth. Gene's doing a dance over here. Mm -mm. What'd you get there, Marie? Mama like it. Man. This is, this is, yeah, you, you don't got to try and figure out if there's any flavor in here or not, because it is, it's just a whole bunch of flavors. It's, it's a bunch of fruit. It's a fruity basket, berries, red berries, orange, tangerine, uh, strawberry, mm -hmm. got some nice peppers, got some chocolates, yep. fudge, um. vanilla. Creamy. Preach. And she's done. The finish is still there. Um, yeah, for me the finish, which is long, it, it's a it's kind of centered on the center of my tongue, and it's kind of like burning a hole through the center of my tongue. The ABV is surprising there for only 49. Um, drinks hotter than much hotter than you would think. Mm. Long finish. You get the age. Uh, I'm gonna add some healthy water to this bad boy. We're gonna do three drops this time. This is a strawberry cream sickle. Strawberry pudding pop cream sickle. Pudding pop? I don't think I'm familiar with pudding pops. Are those the push pops that made out of pudding? I never liked pudding, so I couldn't really tell you. Oh, they're not push they're push pop. They're just, they got them. Use your regular pop sickle. Use <laughs> cream sickles with you. Okay, there we go. Um, man, it's got nice color. Let's see if the, we can do the color here for you. You got great color, um, man. It's just, it just doesn't disappoint, really. Um, refill hog was a refill hogshead and uh, American Oak PX 
cast no hogsheads. You know what? I don't. I don't know if I. When you are showing a color, I'm like, I don't know if I judge a whiskey based on its color, because you can have a really light looking whiskey and it still have lots of flavor. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's just showing the color of the influence of the of the sherry cask. Lacked a much better neat. Put too much water in it. It's uh, made it creamy. Did it? Mine got creamy. And I'm getting some of that the grandmother's permanent. I get sometimes on a sherry. I usually get that with Oloroso more than I do PX cast. So. I do like it better neat than with a drop of water. Mm. I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. That's that much is what I'm gonna tell you. No, I have no more, no less. Yeah, we were invited a while back to be on the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society of America YouTube channel. I co-hosted with Scott about a month or so ago, two months ago maybe, three months perhaps. I don't know. Um, yeah, much better neat. I'm gonna do a ninety. I also did a ninety. Ninety. Uh, that's one cool thing about the Scotch Malt Whiskey Society is pretty much, without exception, every bottle is gonna start out with a nine. It just is. Every ball. This is a rare release. It's hard to get something from Belmonic. Um, hard to get a, anything out of there anymore. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know the history of that distillery. Um, I don't know. But it is. What do we score this on the uncorking, Gene? Well, how much is it? $165. $165. Is it worth, Gene? Is it worth $165? I, I have a hard time saying that anything that expensive is worth it, but since it's here, it's mine. Yeah, you know I mean, cows you have? We're not talking about my <laughs> Ain't no talking about my McCallum's. Uh, if you're McCallum's, let's talk about McCallum's. Hard to get for true cast strength. McCallum's Scotch Pot Whiskey Society comes out with them every now and then. Usually about once a year. The McCallum's kind of holding on to theirs right now. So whatever cast uh, SMWS has, they're going to be good ones and you should join. But it is $100 right now. It's good, but I don't know if it's a hundred. What'd you say, sixty? Hundred sixty-five. I don't know if it's one hundred sixty-five. Good. I uh, mean, you know what? Maybe we one twenty. I think I can speak for both of us. We are ignorant to this distillery. Mm -hmm. um, actually, we have one other from forty-nine that we really liked. But we'll check the other day. We do have two from forty-nine, and this uh, is color coded. This is for the deep, rich, and dried fruits um, era, not era um, area of SMWS. Uh, if you join right now, but we don't get anything for them, we're not affiliated, but if you join right now, it's $100, they automatically give you a $100 gift card towards buying whiskey. So, so it's right like now, you, buying, it's like joining for free. Yeah, right now, you can as basically long as join you for free. buy a bottle or use it. Yes, as long as you use it. Yeah. So if you join a whiskey club and you don't buy whiskey, that's just silly. Then it's kind of silly. What do we, what do we support on the uncorking? Let me tell you. Inquiry Minds. I did an 87 and you did an 88. Boom, another one keeps going. Sometimes, sometimes we'll like it better on them corking, but yeah. it's pretty rare. Yeah, there's been a couple. Just proof positive, never judge a whiskey by its uncorking. Yeah. Anything left to add, Gene? No. Nope. Appreciate you doing all those things you're supposed to do to do to, do to help. It's easy for me to say a YouTube Good channel. Bro. Boom, let's go. <laughs> I'm Charlie. I'm Gene, and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are. That is a good one.